Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be taking you through the engine build for the Mustang and how I got this 6 liter LS inside of a Fox body. So this engine's an LFA. It's almost identical to an LS2 with 0.2 points lower compression. It's a Gen 4 6 liter with aluminum block, flat top pistons, and 243 heads. We'll start with the teardown. One really helpful tool here is one of these style harmonic balancer pulleys that kind of spins on. These work amazing and are way better than the finger style. Get one of these if you're taking one of these engines apart, you'll appreciate it. On this one I decided to use the wire wheel to clean everything up before I disassembled it in an effort to keep some of the dirt out of the engine. Now to get this grungy engine clean, uh, I used oven cleaner. Now it's really dangerous to work with. Some people don't recommend this. It's always worked for me, but if you are gonna use this, make sure you take a look into the PPE that's required because it's not good stuff to work with. So with the block all cleaned up, it's time to install the new cam. This is an Elgin E1840P sloppy stage 2 cam. Uh, I've got one of these in my other car and I love it. It's really cheap. I got it for free with the car, so why not? I apply engine assembly lube to the cam as I place it in. Uh, it just helps keep it less sticky and minimizes the chance of dirt getting in there.
After you install a new cam, install one of these thrust plates. I also throw in an LS2 timing chain, damper, as well as LS7 lifters. I change out the valve stem seals here too while we're in there. Take a note that the colors are different for intake and exhaust, it's a slightly different material. Next up we install the valve springs with the worst valve spring compressor in the world. I don't recommend getting one of these. These springs are a pack 1218 and they're kind of tested and true for this cam. You'll also see here I clean the threads out with brake cleaner and compressed air, then I use an old head bolt with the Milwaukee on low to kind of chase the threads and clean them out. I'm installing OEM GM gaskets here as well as ARP bolts.
When you're deleting the displacement on demand here, you can see that I had to use a different valley cover. This is an LS7 style. Uh, I got it for really cheap off of a friend, that's why I'm using it, but you can see it's got this kind of updated vent at the front. Next up, we paint the engine with three coats of matte black. For the oil pan here, I'm using a local company called Performance World. Now, these uh, pans are available for order online, and for you American guys, you'll see that these are going to be really cheap because your exchange rate is so strong against our dollar right now. This is a great pan, and it includes new bolts in the kit, which is amazing. You don't have to use your dirty old ones. Uh, it also comes with the pickup tube and all the gasket. One thing you can't really see in these pictures is it actually has drain holes on the side for your turbo, which is awesome. So this car isn't getting a turbo yet. Take a note here, you'll need to cut the windage tray. I cut it in line with this bolt here. For an oil pump, I'm using the Melling 10295 high pressure pump. Note that this style pickup tube requires the black O-ring. My intake here is a low profile uh, flow EFI intake. It's made by the same company, Performance World, local to us. Again, if you take a look at the price of this, I bet you it's very competitive in the US because your dollar is so strong against ours. So here's the finished product. I love the look of this thing. It's super blacked out and sinister. Now here's the engine mounted in the car. I'm using an AJEK member with the mounts that came with it. I've got the mount set in the rearmost position. Now the fit of this thing is amazing. There's so much room on either side. Uh, you can also see the intake easily clears the hood and the next shot you'll see that the pan provides tons of clearance. So I'm going to leave you guys with the final recipe on the last slide here just showing how I mounted this. I'm going to put all the part numbers in the comments down below so hopefully this gives you a good idea of the starting point of how you get the LS in the Mustang. Next up is going to be some of the wiring, transmission and things like that so thanks for checking it out.